All right, so it's Greg Dickerson here, and today we're talking about underwriting multifamily deals. Behind me here, I've got a nice Class A multifamily property um, that we're looking at, uh, 150 something units. So, how do you underwrite a multifamily or commercial property? You know, it, it's at the basic level, it's dollars in, dollars out. It's the rental income that you have, and the expenses, taxes, insurance, maintenance, management fees, utilities, uh, things like that. But really, the biggest thing that you wanna look at when you're underwriting a deal, not only the economics of the unit, but also what are the rental comps in the area? What are the units renting for? What does your uh, rental demand look like? What does the market as a whole look like? What are the economic drivers, the employment? Um, is there any universities, hospitals, entertainment, venues, things like that? So underwriting goes far beyond looking at just the numbers and the operations of the property. You gotta take into account all of the aspects that could overall, you know, affect the overall uh, net operating income of the property, affect the overall rents and average rents that you can get for the property currently as well as down the road. You wanna want run what's called a scenario test and a sensitivity analysis. So a scenario test is just running different, well, it's a break even, right? At the, at the basic level, a scenario test is just running uh, some worst case scenarios in your pro formas and your financial models to make sure that your asset can weather some vacancies, some downturns, and pressure in the market uh, with you know increasing competition through development, entering the pipeline, units entering the pipeline. Sensitivity analysis kind of does the same thing. It runs different interest refinance scenarios if you're on a three to five year, seven year plan, whatever, if you're on uh, an adjustable rate. Uh, type of a short-term bridge loan or uh, interest-only debt if you're doing a value-add play. You want to run some sensitivity analysis and some scenarios through the financial model to make sure that you have adequate coverage and that you can weather a downturn or some sort of a hiccup in the economy. So when it comes to underwriting assets, you want to go into much more detail and look at the overall economic picture of the area, not just the unit economics itself and as well as uh, turnover expenses, things like that, cost per unit, all of those types of things when you're turning the units over. So same thing with an office building, same thing with a retail uh, product or an industrial product. You wanna run the same types of analysis when you're doing your modeling and you're underwriting the deal. So that's it for today and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.